Paul, it's a quick turnaround from your previous fight in Bolton. Uh, you must be pleased to get back in before Christmas. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we've been pretty inactive this year, so it's nice to get two in pretty quick before Christmas. Um, keep me busy and then we can push on at the start of next year and hopefully we'll have a big year next year. You, uh, you went the distance with Alexis Ruiz. What was your reflection on that fight? Good fight for me. Um, good 10 rounds. He was a solid opponent. Um, obviously, we'd done our research on him. We pretty much knew it was going to go the distance because he, he was tough. He came to win as well. He, like um, what Barry Jones was saying on commentary, we wish we had plenty more of these kids. Kid, a lot of kids come, come and roll over, um, but Alexis Ruiz never. Um, we were learning. We were learning on the job with him. We were obviously doing stuff what we'd, we'd done in the gym, and we, we were working on that in the fight. I was going to say, that was your first outing with uh, Joe Gallagher in your corner. How's that relationship developing? It was good, especially to get the 10 rounds in as well. It weren't like a two-round boy over job where, um, where I didn't have much time with Joe in the corner. Um, it was nice to go back, listen to Joe, go out and, and, and do exactly what Joe was telling me to do. So, nice to get the 10 rounds in and, and definitely with the new trainer. Did you manage to implement any of the, the stuff you've been working on in the gym with her? Definitely, pretty much everything. Um, I, I said to people before I, went in, before I even got in the ring with Ruiz, I said it feels like I've already been in the ring with him because the stuff that we were doing in the gym, it felt like when I got in there with him, I knew I'd think about him anyway. Like certain shots, um, when I'd throw a left up to the body, we knew he'd, he'd catch and come back with a left up to the head. So we were rolling that instead of standing there. Pretty much everything worked, which was pleased with. Now it's Alexander Cazares next, another Mexican, similar yeah. rating. What do you know of him? Uh, very good kid. Um, you might look at his record and think, oh, lost seven. But uh, Mexicans, they're, they're not too forced on getting beat. Um, very good kid. Um, he's boxed a kid twice. One of them, in the, in the first fight he had with him, he knocked him out and he just beat um, Morales, who Haskins has just boxed. So he's boxed in good company and um, he's a very good kid. We've been doing our own work on him. I think he's lost seven fights, but uh, he's not been stopped, so that no. indicates it might be a, a longish evening for you. Could be another distance fight. Um, we train to go to distance anyway. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a long, hard fight, but we've done our own work and, and, and we'll pick up on that. He, uh, he boxed Karim Gurfai, the European champion, last time. Mm. Uh, went eight rounds with him. Yeah. Is that a fight you've studied? Yeah, we've had a look at that. We've had a look at a few of his fights. Um, very tough kid. Obviously, the European champion that's just boxed him goes the distance with him, and um, we all see what he could do on Box Nation. Um, he, he can pop a little bit himself. So, this Mexican on boxing is a tough kid, and, and I'm sure we'll go the distance with him. But if the stoppage comes, it comes. But we won't be going out there looking for it. We'll be going out to look, look to box him, outbox him, and, and work on things that we've been doing on the gym. You're looking very sharp in the gym, and there looks to be plenty of power there. How are you finding the power difference at Bantamweight? I'm sitting down a lot more on my shots. I'm not moving as moving as much. I am moving, but not as much as I was. Um, I think at Bantamweight you'll see a lot better me because I'm not like the last two weeks of of training camp. I'm normally just making weight. I'm not working on tactics. When I was making super flyweight, that was. I think at Bantamweight you'll see a lot better me. Weight's perfect. Um, I'm pretty much bang on the weight, and we've got four days to go, so you'll see a lot better me. Yeah. You're not, were you draining yourself at Superfly? Towards the end, yeah. Um, I was just training to get, get the weight off, um, which wasn't nice. It was horrible going home, um, having to watch what you'd eat. And it was becoming really strict and really hard. I was training at stupid times at night um, and doing silly things to make the weight. So, Bantamweight was definitely the move to make.